Hi, this is your math professor, Barbara Rademacher, and now we're going to look at functions and relations in terms of graphs. Graphs, like this slanted line, go on forever and ever. They consist of an infinite number of points, and they go forever and ever. What do you say? This line's going to go to the left forever and to the right forever. That means the x-coordinates of all its infinitely many points are going to be found on the x-axis. And since the points will go to the left forever, uh, the x-coordinates of those points will be found on the x-axis going forever to the left. And since this graph goes forever to the right, the x-coordinates of the points that make up the graph um, will be found on the x-axis, and they go forever to the right. So all things considered, the domain of this slanted line is negative infinity to positive infinity. Negative infinity is out here way to the left, and positive infinity is out here way to the right. Okay, now the range. The range is how far up and down a graph goes. Remember that the range is the set of all the y-coordinates of all the points. This has an infinite number of points, and they go up forever, right? This goes up forever, and it goes down forever, so the y-coordinates are going to come from the entire y-axis. Negative infinity down here, positive infinity up there. So the range is also going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. These answers look exactly alike, but they're not. This is negative infinity to positive infinity on the x-axis, and this is negative infinity to positive infinity on the y-axis. And now is this a function? Yes, it is. How do I know? I can use the vertical line test. I can draw a line up and down through this, uh, through this line right here, through the graph, and notice that any line I draw up and down through the graph is going to only intersect the graph once. Is going to intersect the graph only once. That's good English. Okay, that means this is the graph of a function, so I'm going to say yes. And now I'll move on. Decide if the graph is a function, also give the domain and range, and use the vertical line test. If I draw a vertical line anywhere through this sideways parabola, that line that I draw through it will intersect the sideways parabola at two points, and two points only, but more than one point. Therefore, this is not a function. If the vertical line had intersected the graph at only one point, like it did here, then we'd have a function. But it doesn't, it intersects this graph twice, therefore it is not a function. Okay, what's the domain? The domain is the part of the x-axis that, um, uh, uh, that goes with the graph. I mean, all uh, this has an infinite number of points goes forever to the right up here and forever to the right down here. And notice, this is the farthest left it goes. So our domain is going to start with the x-coordinate of the farthest left point and go all the way to the farthest right point. Well, the farthest, uh, the farthest left x-coordinate is 0 which means either this or this is our answer because this goes to the right forever out to positive infinity on the x-axis. Um, notice that x actually, uh, the x-coordinate actually is 0 right here at that point. Therefore, we use a bracket which means x equals 0. 
A parenthesis means that x can equal a number really close to zero, but it's not going to equal zero itself. Okay? A little bit hard to understand, but with practice you pick it up. Now the range. This little sideways baby here is going to tilt up forever on the upper leg and tilt down forever on the lower leg. So eventually all the y coordinates are going to come from the entire y axis. Negative infinity down here to positive infinity up here. So that's what the range is. Negative infinity to positive infinity on the y axis. Let's go on to 8. Is this a function? Do the vertical line test. No matter how many vertical lines you draw through this parabola, each vertical line is going to touch the graph only once. Therefore, this is a function. So yes, it's a function. What is the domain? This graph goes forever to the left, so it will take up the whole of uh, the, the x coordinates of all the points will take up the whole left part, the negative part of the x axis, and because this goes to the right forever, the x coordinates will come from the entire positive side of the x axis, so the x coordinates are going, going to come from the entire x axis, so the domain is going to start at negative infinity and go all the way to positive infinity. Is this a function? Do the vertical line test. A vertical line drawn through this oval will intersect the oval at two points, not one point. Therefore, it's not a function, but I'm jumping ahead of myself Use interval notation to say what the domain is. And with interval notation, we start with the point farthest on the left. That'll go here, the x-coordinate, I'm sorry. Since this is the domain, this will be the x-coordinate at the farthest left point and the x-coordinate at the farthest right point. The x-coordinate at the farthest left point is negative 2 and the x-coordinate at the farthest right point is going to be positive 2. And that's what the domain is. Now we're being asked, what is the range? When you're using interval notation and you're talking about range, the left coordinate is the lowest y-coordinate and the, uh, the right box holds the y-coordinate at the very top, of the topmost point. So let's see, let's count down. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. The farthest left y-coordinate is negative 5. The farthest right y-coordinate is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'll put a positive 5. And that's what the range is. Now it's asking me, is this a function? And no, it flunks the vertical line test, like we said earlier. So, oh, I'll mark no. No, this is not a function. And then 10. Now we're talking about is this, well, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to stop the tape there, the tape. Boy, do I go back. I'm going to stop the recording here, and next time we'll start with 10.